Yo, what's up, Rare Candy viewers? It's your boy, Zach Lesage, and we're back here on the channel covering over Roxy, Flapple, and Sableye V. Kind of this weird concoction of a deck. And I'll stop you right there. If you're missing any cards from this deck, head over to ptcgostore.com, plug in code RAREcandy, or if you're one of our patrons, you do have a special discount code, so go to patreon.com slash rarecandytcg and check that out there. Jumping back into this deck, we got a bunch of cool things going on here. This deck mainly focuses over Roxy, a card that we've had before, but we did get a new spread card in our format, which is Flapple. So Roxy allows you to discard cards from your hand to draw cards, and you might be like, how's that spreading? Well, we have Weezing with Blow Away Bomb. So if you discard Weezing or a Coughing with the effect of Roxy, and you can even see Roxy in the background right over there, so you can see that the combo's a natural combo. You can spread one damage counter for each card that you discard so you can discard two with roxy that means if you discard wheezing wheezing you're doing 20 across the board that being said with flapple once during your turn you may put two damage counters on one of your opponent's pokemon and then if you do any damage counters you can shuffle this pokemon back into your deck so the goal of this deck with other cards like galarian zigzagoon um, that you can keep on using with scoop up nets is to keep on recycling damage counters and focusing on attacks, whether you're using Doom Count GX, if you put exactly four po uh, four damage counters on a big Pokemon, or you can use Crazy Claws to build up damage counters to knock out those big Pokemon. With a lot of strong Pokemon like Dragapult VMAX, weak to dark type, a deck like this seems really appealing. And I'm not entirely sure if this variant is going to be the best variant with dark type Pokemon, or if the deck would be better as like a purist spread variant with just a flapple and a more enhanced roxy line but regardless i think it's going to be a really strong concept going forward and we're going to see similar decks like this emerge so let's jump into some games see exactly how this deck works out and yeah let's just jump right into it so here going first actually seems really good for this deck hello and the reason why it seems good is because we can use Apple and e Applin and evolve into Flapple fairly quickly thereafter. So we can get our spread gang coming up. Um, let's go for Stellar Wish here first. I mean, I feel pretty okay with the Quick Ball here. Quick Ball for probably just on Switch. Um, the fact that our opponent started with Mewtwo, it almost makes me think that they're running some kind of Dragapult VMAX list, but we can always get the damage on with Evil Tall. So let's go with Applin. And we're going to chill there for our turn. So nothing overly spectacular, but it does work out fairly nice. Okay. And I'm actually fine with the Marnie. We were about to do the same, so at one card less, we don't necessarily need to draw cards. We do have Zacian V, which will allow us to draw cards as well. So, I mean, I feel pretty blessed in this opportunity that we have this good setup. So before going in with anything, I do want to go with Turfield Stadium. And I didn't really check through the deck last turn. Just want to check to make sure that we have appropriate things, Roxy counts, counts like switches, scoop up nets, all things that are really important. Our opponent didn't get an energy, which is really important because their deck doesn't really have anything to expedite energies, or in most cases, it actually doesn't. So let's go Stellar Wish. I mean, I kind of want to grab a Roxy, but the reason, the whole reason why I want to grab Roxy is just because I want to discard some things. But let's go, um, let's go like this. go apple drop drop some damage on that pokemon you know retreat here into the lily's poke doll in case they want to do any kind of damage or anything like that then we're going to use zation to draw some cards so even though we grabbed the lapo we we really only want to grab applins still fine i mean we can get a knockout next turn with a evil tall gx if necessary so I feel like we're in a pretty good spot. 
And like I said a few times, yeah, our opponent's just going to give up here because we have the meta matchup. Okay, so we lost that flip. We'll see exactly what's going on here. Um, starting with Applin probably makes the most sense. And our opponent started with the Dene. I mean, going first here isn't bad. Let's just go, like, quick ball on... Let's just say the Marnie, because we have we have the Roxy for next turn. Let's scroll through here. Let's grab a Zacian. Just double-checking through our deck for our prize cards. Everything seems to be mostly in order. A retreat there just because that's a little bit easier to go through and let's go for intrepid sword not necessarily the greatest intrepid sword i've ever seen but we'll see how it goes one thing that i always contemplate with this deck is do i want to play more roxy more coughing and at that point i don't even know if i'd want to have the whole sableye v package the thing that's always cursed sableye v is it's always struggled with just kind of getting set up Sableye V just requires two energies, which is sometimes too much. Evil Tall GX is worth is for only one energy and can get a big knockout. So I mean, I don't necessarily even know if we want to have anything past the Evil Tall GX. Ooh, our opponent's big old chillin'. At this point, we don't even know if I don't even know if I want to be using the Roxy um, for its full effect. I mean, let's just go for it. that down we'll put that at the bottom of our deck Let's see what we can get off stellar wish let's go with skateboard i'm gonna skateboard into this applin and we'll go intrepid sword I don't know if our opponent just has nothing here, or if they're like trying to figure out exactly what kind of deck we're playing. Maybe they're trying to avoid the Pokemon they play down. With it being Cherish Ball, okay, so it's probably Fire Toolbox, or Abilities Art, as people like to call it. I don't know if they have the whole Welder package, though. It doesn't look like it. Um, okay, so we're going to actually just go Scoop Up Net the Applin. Send up Flapple, or send up <laughs> Jirachi. Jeez, I got Flapples on the mind. Let's go see what Stellar Wish brings us first. Don't know if Roxy is going to be necessarily the card that we're looking for. I kind of like the whole Turfield Stadium package. So we could start placing damage on the pokes. So let's grab a Flapple. And let's go, let's put the Sableye down, building up an energy on it. Since, you know what, let's actually just go for the Apple Drop. We'll put the Apple Drop there so that we can always get it set up for an Evil Tall GX in a future turn. I don't necessarily feel like I want to get another Apple out, but I so want to. It's just there's nothing good to discard here. I mean, let's just discard Ordinary Rod. It sucks to get rid of an Ordinary Rod, trust me. But there's an Applin. And no point of putting down Zigzagoon because I'm still trying to figure out exactly where we want to make those damage counters happen. Let's go with Intrepid Sword. Kind of a supporterless game for us. Um, in terms of just like what we want to do, our opponent has a lot of cards that are from Fire uh fiery flint and stuff like that i just can't tell if they drew that fire energy and they're going to pass or if they're just so confused about what's going on with this deck because our both of our starts are not necessarily the greatest here maybe oh, okay so they just went through with turf fields ah they're going for the knockout so 
That's certainly one way to deal with it. Here, there's it's a no-brainer to send up the Applin. Ooh, and we drew our extra energy. So now it's the fun point of figuring out how much damage can we do to get the knockout with Crazy Claws. So we do 60 more damage for each damage counter on your opponent's active Pokemon. So we're doing 120, 140, um, or sorry, 120, 130, which puts them at one, I think we're just literally a flop of the way. And then we're gonna go Turfield Stadium, get back a Flapple. And we could have all these gone for Apple Drop first too. But we're gonna draw three prize cards fairly immediately. There's another Flapple. Just, actually I'm okay with the Flapple being up there active. We've got our energy, so we're in a good position to get the big knocker with Crazy Claws. So if we weren't playing this version of the deck with the Sableye, would have we been able to get the knockout there? I mean, I know our hand's not particularly strong here, but it is one of those things where the Crazy Claws was very good there. And if our opponent gets nothing, we win the game next turn. So I can't tell if it was worthwhile for them to get the knockout there. Okay. I mean, we're in a really good position here now. Um, I'm gonna use uh, Turfield Stadium to grab a flop float. Let's go Roxy. Let's discard a Roxy and a Flapple. My opponent doesn't play a special energy, so I'm just gonna get rid of this Garutina to get another Applin. So we're already doing enough damage. Um, let me double check that. So we're doing 10 plus 120. We're actually one off, so here, okay. And our opponent realized that we just have it. And you can see that scoops are imminent with this deck sometimes. Okay, so we lost the coin flip, and we're going to see if they're going to go first. Okay, it makes sense for them to go first most of the time. Most decks do want to go first, and we do have this busted start of the Jirachi. I know a lot of players complain that we have to play Jirachis in decks, but for this being a little bit of an offbeat deck, it does make our life easy to grab our trainer cards, such as Roxy. Speaking about Roxy, we do have access to the Weezing and Coughing, so hopefully our opponent plays down a bunch of cards. Now, card... Um, a bunch of cards just we can use blow away bomb to damage them now one thing that i have been considering is adding in the mimikyu from cosmic eclipse that stops our opponent's abilities i think that would be a pretty cool card in this deck because if we damage them with things like blow away bomb or apple drop or even headbutt tantrum they can't use their abilities now i'm not entirely sure what psychic deck our opponent's playing it looks like it's going to be mewtwo but I wouldn't be surprised if there was... Oh, it's Psychic Weakness. Okay, so it's not Psychic-type Pokemon. I was thinking that they might play, like, Dragapult. This seems like it might be Ultimate Mewtwo, but they have high, Giant Hearth. Maybe it's just normal Mewtwo, um, like Fire Mewtwo. It's really weird to see the engine with Scoop of Nets in a predominantly GX-based deck, but... I mean... That's good. They did play down a lot of Pokemon for us to damage, and they did take away Giant Hearth. Like, out of starting hands, this is one of the better ones that we've had. Um, we're going to go Turf Field here first, and the reason why we want to do that is to thin out of our deck and look through it. So we know, like, right off the bat that we prized a couple Flapples. We prized... What else did we prize? A couple Switch. can't really tell what it is. A deck like this is really difficult to find out. I mean, the Flopples is probably the most important thing next to the Switch, but our start's so good. We're just going to go with the Blow Away Bomb. I want to make sure that we click Yes. It's so weird because you have to click Yes twice, so if you are playing it, you can do it individually. And we're also going to try to go for Stellar Wish here as well. Okay, so we're just going to go for the Roxy. I mean, Roxy doesn't necessarily sound bad here. Um, there's a Lily's Pokedoll. We're going to put down the Zacian to draw some more cards. 
Unfortunately, we are not able to get an energy or a save line to attach an energy to or anything like that. But our opponent might not realize that we're playing kind of this Flapala deck. Like, I don't know exactly what they're looking for. I mean, I guess they're looking to know that I play Flapala. I played Turfield. Like, shut up, Zach. But this seems cool. Okay, there's a save line. I mean, those are three pretty good cards. The only thing that I would really like is a Lure Ball. As I play this deck more and more, I continuously have ideas of like different wheezing counts. Do I need the Sableyes? Do I need my energy count? Things like that. Do I want to play Guru or do I want to play more Lily's Polka Dolls? How do I want to play this deck? And that's, it's going to be a consistent struggle. So I think our opponent's just going to get set up as well. Them, us taking away their giant hurt can hurt them as well. Because they can't search their energies because uh, to grab welder, so they need <clears throat> they need energies to play welder in general. Okay, they got the welder. That's fine, but they only got one energy there, so you can see that they'd like to have the extra energies. And I mean, they wouldn't even have an extra energy in their hand unless they drew it off the welder. So setting them back significantly, because Mewtwo does really well with the amount of energies it has attached, because that's how it's able to copy all the different attacks. Um, it needs like four energies to copy with uh, Flamethrower. I mean, we got the biggest Pokemon that we have in play right now is a Zacian, so I'm not too worried about our opponent doing anything. I would like to just smoke this um, with an Evil Tall. Let's say if they go up with it. So if our opponent's just like, yep, let's just attack here into this Draji, we're knocking them out with. Oh, what are they gonna do? outrage for 30 so you can see here that this deck's able to take a big swing so the way that we're going to handle this first is we're going to go flapple because we need to do exactly 40 damage with evil tall and i wouldn't even be surprised if our opponent just scooped here since we did prize our other pokemon we are going to go with um we prize our two flapples we are going to go apple drop first before we go in with anything else uh so we're going to place there I mean, I guess I could have used Jirachi first, but I, the sequencing is not, it's the least of my worries right now. Let's discard. I think I want the Zigzagoon. I want all these cards. That's the sad part. I'm going to discard. Oh, I want the Sableye too. Uh, let's get Lily's Pokedoll out of there. And we're going to grab the Evil Tall. Let's go Stellar Wish now. Or right, let's go Turfield. Grabbing back the Flapple. So, I mean, it's the same thing had we done it in any order. It just would have given us a little bit more. Um, I'd also like to grab another Quick Ball to grab back um, something. Um, I can always get those back with Lure Ball. I need to remember that. So, I'm just going to grab Applin. The reason why we play Ditto is so we could evolve into other things as well. Um, here, I'm also going to just discard probably just the Zigzagoon and Flapple. Just so we could draw some more cards. So you can see that we're getting a little bit more set up. I'm also fine discarding things like Weezing. I could have discarded um, the Drachi as well. I want to get more Applins out because they allow us to control the game really nicely. Um, I should probably put this down as well. Okay, cool. So you can see here that we're going to be able to body this Mewtwo out of play. And our opponent's probably like, yo, this is absolutely terrible. Yep. So we are just stealing the game. Our opponent's like, yo. They did it. So you can see the power of this deck. Well, and here we are again, peeps. So we saw this deck in its full form using Flapple's Apple Drop, Flapple's Apple Drop, wow, I'll say that 10 times fast, using Roxy with the Blow Away Bomb combo to use uh, Coughing and Wheezing to add damage counters. A lot of our opponents would not play the game after Evil Tall GX when you use Doom Count GX out of nowhere. So it's really easy that this deck can add up for a big knockout it's just really getting the rest of the way there that's why i like sable iv but i'm not entirely sold on it going forward we'll have to see how this deck grows as we explore the rebel clash metagame that being said if you did enjoy this content be sure to like share and subscribe to the rare candy youtube channel and if you want to become a patron to support us a little bit more, you can go to patreon.com slash rarecandytcg. We put all the proceeds back into the channel. You can also go to rarecandytcg.com, pick up some sweet merch there too. As for me, I'm Zach Lesage. What up?
You can follow me on Twitter at Zelosage Pokemon. Thanks again for watching and have yourself a good one. Bye.